Good evening, and welcome to the Albright Scholar for February 2019. My name is John Pankratz, and each I teach history at Albright, and each month it's my privilege to welcome BCTV viewers and residents of Greater Reading to take a glimpse inside our learning community up here on North 13th Street, to look at the work being done by teachers and students, and to think about its impact on all of us. Well, I mentioned it's February, and it really is. It's sort of snowing and sleeting outside. Uh, but we're uh, warm inside the BCTV studios, and we're going to be talking about beauty and creativity, competition and collaboration with some colleagues from Albright's renowned fashion department. I'm here with Professor Doreen Berdalski, my uh, dear colleague, uh, and two of her outstanding senior fashion students, Nicole Tyson and Jonathan Otero. Welcome to all three of you. Thank, Thank you. you, John. Thank you. Thanks for inviting us. And all, uh, all three of them have brought along two additional friends who you see standing here looking uh, just fabulous. And uh, we'll learn a little bit more about them uh, uh, as well. Uh, Doreen, Albright's a little bit unusual. As a small liberal arts college, we have this fashion department of longstanding and remarkable achievements. Yes, the fashion department is really, I think, one of the shining stars here at Albright. Um, the students are creative, mm -hmm. and they're actually different than a lot of the other fashion programs out there because it is a liberal arts college. So there's collaboration, uh, not just with fashion students, but with other students, mm -hmm. with science, with music, uh, and it's really exciting to see. Right. It is. Our students really think outside the box. It's true. Uh, I know that uh, the show has had uh, Paula Trimpey and some of her outstanding yes. students in, in costume design uh, before. Um, Jonathan, uh, let me turn to you. Uh, you're here at a liberal arts college. Uh, you're studying fashion intensely. Uh, what else have the liberal arts done for you? Um, it definitely has allowed me to just play with my sense of art, mm -hmm. um, being that it's a liberal arts college, it, it, pretty much I have no limits. I can do anything that I want. Um, I can explore my creativity to, to pretty much anything that, that, I, that I want, and the professors really allowed us, allow us to do that. Um, they guide us in like, the right direction, and we go from there. <laughs> so it feels really yeah. encouraging Thank to you. Yes, in definitely. Yeah. Nicole, do you have a favorite class outside your fashion courses? I really love my literature classes. I took those as an elective for my gen eds. Mm -hmm. And so that was something that was fun that was different from fashion, but I still really love reading literature. And I find a way in all my classes to apply fashion or fashion business or that way of thinking mm -hmm. to all my classes to see, okay, how can this relate to what I'm studying? Great. Fashion is a form of communication. It's a way of saying things. And I think learning ideas in a philosophy class or in a literature class, learning stories, yeah. and then finding other media through which to tell stories. Okay. Now, I mentioned uh, the word competition. Uh, you were two of three senior participants in something called the Albright Fashion Challenge. Uh, what, should we show the video now, do you think, and give people a little glimpse of oh, what that was? I think that's a great idea. I do too. Let me see if I can call it up here. I'm a Mac person. Oh, nope. I don't want to change the color scheme. <laughs> So the challenge this year was an upcycling challenge, and the students, uh, and it was, there was a collaboration with the Opportunity Shop. So mm -hmm. the students took uh, existing clothing. They were given a certain amount of time to dig through boxes to find existing clothing. And the challenge was actually to take that clothing and upcycle it into something that would be worn today. Mm -hmm. So there were time constraints, and you really had to think on the, on the job, right? Mm -hmm. yeah.
So tell us, what, what did we just see there, Nicole? Uh, so we had a uh, fellow colleague in the communications department who documented our whole challenge through the week. So mm -hmm. he followed us from the Opportunity Shop warehouse. You can see us digging through the bins, trying to find something to work with, something mm -hmm. to use as materials. Uh, follows us to Joann's where we we're finding additional fabrics and supplies and then following us through the week and our construction process seeing things going from nothing and then to the final ending product. <laughs> so. Great. And was it as hectic as the video seemed to suggest? Um, Did you it, feel that clock ticking away? Definitely. Mm -hmm. um, but it was it, it wasn't as much of, as much of a challenge. Uh, I it was just having fun. I, I was having fun. It was fun a good kind of excitement. Yeah, 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 definitely. I was having I was I was having fun while doing it and I really wasn't worried about the time. Okay. Um, we actually finished with an hour and thirty minutes left mm -hmm. over on the clock. So we definitely were working and yeah. having fun. <laughs> Efficiently. Great, yeah. great. We should mention the name of your, the third senior who uh, competed, right? Yes, that was Kanaya Howard. Mm -hmm. And um, Kanaya actually lives in Maryland. She right. graduated in December and um, couldn't make it here tonight. But right, right. We did bring a picture of her collection. Oh, so well, when we. Uh, we, we can talk about that. Uh, maybe we'll talk about uh, all three of your okay. collections. And we'll, uh, let's show hers first. Okay. And I think we, is that it on the screen? This is, that's That's it. Jonathan's. Oh, that's Jonathan's. So we'll go, we'll switch to a different one. That's me. That's <laughs> Nicole's. And there that's Kanaya's. That's, that's Kanaya's second from the left. Mm-hmm. And her designs. There was a lot of embellishment on those designs. Right. Well, she she's very creative. She makes a lot of things from scratch in her she own She crochets yeah. and, and actually has started a business where she is crocheting and selling her selling her designs. So she's off and running. She should, it's yeah. Exciting. No, I, re I remember her work when they won the big prize last year at the yes. fashion show. And I uh, yes. was so impressed by that. And she's humble, too. I have to say <laughs> that. She's very <laughs> humble. Yeah. And hardworking. Very talented and yeah. hardworking. How great. Jonathan, let's call up your... your uh, collection here. There we go. So three, three of these garments all in a, what, a three-day period? Five-day period? Five-day period, wow. yes. Wow. Um, so when we went to the opportunity, um, the opportunity, the opportunity yeah, the opportunity, the, yeah, actually, yeah, the, the warehouse, um, there was bins full of clothes. Um, so there was really, it was nothing. These was, had been donations yeah. and everything like that. So yeah. recycled clothes. Yes, yes. Um, so nothing was really um, categorized by like style, t-shirts, pants, nothing. So just we just bins. had to, yes, just been. So we had to <laughs> dig. Uh, for me personally, I just went for fabric. Um, anything that had fabric, print, colors, um, I went with. Um, and actually, all yeah, three I of my- Yeah, there, there's some floral elements in all three of your garments there. Yeah, um, all three of these garments were actually constructed from um, tablecloths, um, bed sheets, curtains, um, and one ad additional fabric that I got to, to buy at Joanne's Fabrics. Oh, how great. Mm -hmm. So these weren't necessarily garments before. They, these were f utilitarian yes. fabrics of yes. other sorts. <laughs> yes. And then you shaped them into these wonderful, wonderful dresses. Yes, correct. Nicole, let's look at all three of your pieces in yeah. the picture as well. Yeah, so my approach was similar to Jonathan's. We're going through the Opportunity Shop warehouse and I was trying to find pieces that were cohesive, that I could see as a collection, mm -hmm. and also that I could rework and upcycle. I didn't want to find something that I was then lost questioning, how can I transform this? So uh, this red dress that I have here is the one piece that I made completely from scratch. Okay. So uh, the red dress was just some fabric I found and the color really pulled me. Um, I also looked a lot at textures and mixing different fabrics. Mm -hmm. So I was being compelled to find those fabrics that really stood out to me. And my color story came to be more black, white, and red. Mm -hmm. So that's how I developed my creative process and went from my garments, with this case, the red dress, which was, you know, just fabric, 
and uh, changed other things like this blazer and using other materials and other supplies to upcycle it while keeping the basic garment structure. Right. Do uh, you have a definition of the term upcycle? It's, it's, it sort of is the term of art these days. For yeah. mm -hmm. Yes, it, it certainly is. It's kind of, I think it's left up to a person's interpretation. Okay. Mm -hmm. Upcycling to me is transforming something from the older original state and modernizing it, making it something that is trendy and wearable in today's day and age, mm -hmm. where its original state might not have been. Okay, so not simply recycling, that is using the materials and being frugal and something like that, but making a new fresh statement with... Uh, with those yes. materials, using that as the base. Yeah. Uh, Whether it be adding on to it or, as Jonathan did, completely, you know, renewing. Yeah. The whole this this is a really pretty coat. Houndstooth is su such a yeah. gorgeous fabric to begin yeah. with. Uh, but you cut off the sleeves and fashioned these brand new uh, leather, faux leather yeah. sleeves. Yeah. So I I love the houndstooth fabric, but mm -hmm. I wanted to mix different prints and different textures, so. I found I was compelled to the leather, and there was already this velour collar, which oh, okay. I really loved that was yeah. already on it. And then I just wanted to add a runway element and, you know, added the sequins and the tool design to it just to applique and embellish a regular, you know, houndstooth blazer okay. into something that was more art. Now, what sort of shoes would Carolyn Vazana uh, recommend to wear with this garment, I wonder? <laughs> she might say a, a pop of color. Uh, Even from, more color. Yeah, or another, <laughs> another print. Um, my model, I just wanted to keep it simple and black and let the crazy and busyness be focused to the top. In the garment itself. Yeah. Great, great. So. Uh, Jonathan, uh, take us through this beautiful summer dress. Um, so, I started, this was the origina originally the first dress that I actually started making. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I made all my patterns myself. Um, and actually, the top was created from the border of a tablecloth. So it was a completely white tablecloth, and the border of it was... Um, it's really a nice fabric, yeah, isn't it? It is. It's, it's, it's really strong. And yes. Um, so I definitely decided to go with the top for, um, for this particular garment. Um, in the bottom of it, I loved how the fabric was really soft and I definitely saw that once it walked down the runway that it was going to be it moved, it moved. yeah mm -hmm. so I definitely decided to use the sheet out of this um so that's it was a very full skirt yes it's, yeah. it's a completely full circle skirt um and I played around with the pa um the pattern of the of the tablecloth so I tried to go ahead and um make sure that you're able to see like the mm. back of it. And so placement um, and thinking of how I was gonna turn a tablecloth into a dress was exciting and challenging a little bit, but this is the final outcome. <laughs> a lot of fun. Yes. And you were all working in the same room in the, yep. in, yeah. in the yes. studio there. Mm -hmm. Were you encouraging each other or? Yeah. Yeah, we were. I, yeah, I think we were always asking like, oh, like what are you doing with that? Or. Mm -hmm. Like looking over and seeing, okay, Jonathan has just f bed sheets laid out, and then at the end of the <laughs> week, he had this dress. Mm -hmm. So it was funny to like, I just kind of like peep up and look around and see how everyone's, you know, moving along their process was fun. Yeah, yeah. and that's that's a nice mood. You're you're do you're working as individuals, and yet you're there, sort of sharing the experience and sharing the the fun of the of the competition. Mm -hmm. now, I have to interject something, yeah, John, and that is that. That is one thing about this college, and it could be because it's a liberal arts college, but mm -hmm. I've, I've taught at other colleges in the fashion department, and it was very competitive. Mm. But here at Albright, the atmosphere is collaboration, and it, it's a wonderful place for the students to learn. They're very supportive of each other all the time. Yeah. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. It's great. It, it really is a special thing, and it's, it's wonderful to see how the juniors and seniors are eager to welcome yes. in the freshmen and yes. see what they've got going and, mm -hmm. and encourage them and serve as role models. Mm -hmm. And then I think, too, uh, our alums come back often yes, uh, to talk about what they're doing out there in, in the fashion world. and That's inspiring, too. Mm -hmm. How nice. How nice. Um, all of these works got seen publicly, right? 
Yes, yeah, yes. Tell us about the fashion show. This is the West Reading Fashion so Show? So West Reading Fashion Week, which mm -hmm. culminates in a fashion show, it was February 2nd. And actually, this was our second year that the students participated. Uh, last year, uh, we had students that uh, we collaborated with um, the Fabric Mart in Sinking Springs. So okay. they donated $50 for each student, and the students were given 40 minutes to pick fabric. Mm -hmm. and they I've seen a TV show like that once, but... Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, they, so the collaboration was with um, Fabric Mart, and the students did the same thing. Mm -hmm. One week in the lab, they, had, they came in at 9, they left at 5, and uh, were featured in the West Reading Fashion Show this year. Um, we changed it up a little bit, make it interesting to do an upcycle. Yeah. And um, it was really well received, oh, really well received. Oh, great. And then multiple Albright students had a hand in, in that show, right? Absolutely. We have a fashion group on campus that you're aware of, Club Vogue. Yep. And they did the production. Mm -hmm. They were given uh, white t-shirts with the West Reading uh, Fashion Week logo. And they, they changed them, they upcycled them, redesigned okay. them, and they were there doing the production and, and everything else. Yeah, I think I we have a little group we, shop of uh, some yeah. of the Club Can Vogue members there? out there at the lofts at Narrow. There they are. Yeah, yeah a great group, really a great group. Yeah. And also all of our models for our collection were yeah. Albright students. Albright students, yeah. So it was, it was funny just to look around and see how many people from Albright took this opportunity to participate in a mm. community event. And yeah, no, I was so happy to see that because one of the things I like to emphasize on the show is the impact of Albright on yes. the greater Reading community. Yes. And this is something that we're clearly out there, active, engaged. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, Absolutely. And inspiring, I think, yeah. people. Yeah, yeah, the from beginning to end, it was a definitely a, a great experience. It was it was fun. It was challenging. We, it was, it was nice to know that everything that we learned in class, no matter how long ago it was, we were actually like we were able to apply bring it out it and apply it all. Yeah. Oh, so how it was great! Fun. How yep. great! Mm -hmm. And uh, is is the competition uh, open only to seniors or? Is it just that uh, by this time it's, in your training and, and, and career, you've got all the skills that you need in order to build a collection this It is an invitation. Quickly? It's a department invitation okay. to those students. This year we did focus on the seniors mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. figuring that that would give sophomores, juniors something to look forward to and aspire exactly. to. No, I'm thinking that. And, and it really worked out well like that. But it is by invitation. We want to make sure that the students have the skills that they need mm -hmm. to succeed. And, um, and yeah. you know, it takes a lot of time, it takes a week out of interim, yeah. so yeah. the students have to be willing to give up that week. Right. And no vacation at all. No vacation, <laughs> no. right. Yeah. Yeah. right. It was definitely fun in the end to see a week of hard work, but there's that one day when we really don't have to do much, and like just to see your designs walking down a runway and visualizing like your whole vision just come together. That was so much fun, that fashion show day. Super satisfying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. definitely. So, so what follows? Uh, Nicole, where, where are you going to be a, a year from now? <laughs> a year from now? <laughs> Not sure that far in advance, okay. but I do know in the upcoming months I'm doing a senior seminar design collections mm -hmm. show. I'll be showing that at the um, Auburn College Fashion Department show that's annual every spring. Yep. And then I hope to find a job uh, doing something in the design process. In the design field. Yeah, of a company, hopefully on the East Coast. So, Great. Yeah. Jonathan, what are your eventual plans? Um, definitely the same. I eventually want to start from somewhere, working with uh, a well-known brand, um, even if it's just like a little bit of, a, of design here and mm -hmm. there, but definitely some somewhere Great. in that field. And then build from there. And then build from there. Yep. Got to start from somewhere. We have design alum at Michael Kors. We have design alum at Lily Pulitzer. So they're all on the East Coast. Mm -hmm. um, and Macy's, developing for Macy's, GK Elite down the street. Sure. So I know that you'll be ready to go out there and start designing. 
It's yeah. a good feeling. Yeah. Yeah. And you'll be back here again next year and inspiring a, yes. a whole it's a new group of uh, really would... talented and enthusiastic students. They're great students. They really are. I know. All of them. I know. I really appreciate them. I really appreciate all, all five of you being on, uh, <laughs> on the sh uh, show this evening. Yeah. Thank, Thank, you. You. Thank you. Thanks for inviting us, John. Yeah. Great. Really, really good. My pleasure. Thank you as well uh, for joining us here on uh, the Albright Scholar for February. Uh, we'll be back. We'll hope the snow has passed uh, by March, and we'll welcome you to another edition of the Albright Scholar. Good night. <laughs>